and welcome back to my channel with Handmade by Hannah and we're on square number two of our mystery blanket so I'm actually working with my own wool. so I found a load of random colours of uh, chunky wool I'm using them because I thought it would be easier for you guys to see when I'm teaching so this is our square this week these are the colours I, I found this week and I thought they matched quite well so it does look a bit complicated but it's not so we're still using the same stitches a treble and a double crochet but I've also thrown in a half treble as well so each square I make is going to include your double crochet your treble and your and some other new stitch so this week it's the half treble so this is what we're going to make this week these are the colours I've chosen. I've got you need four different colours, or you can use you can make it in one colour, two colours. You can decide whichever way you want to do it. This is what we're going to do this week. So if I move these all out of the way, and we're going to start with our white, and you're going to need. Um, I got my trusty five millimetre hook and my scissors and my darning needle, and we're going to get going so I'm going to try and move the camera a little bit closer this week because I felt I I felt I did it a bit too far away last week so you might be able to see what I'm doing a bit better okay so we're going to start with the white and we're going to do a slip stitch so we do a circle first bring your wool underneath slip your hook in catch that loop and then just pull not too tight And then we're going to do four chains. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay, and then when we've done that, we're going to join it together with a slip stitch. So round but through the loops. And then we've made a strange circle. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to work. We're going to chain one which doesn't which isn't a stitch so we're going to work 12 double crochets into this circle so we go right into the center like that and we're going to work 12 double crochets so that's one and we're going to be working over our tail two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve like so so we're going to cut this colour off because we're finished with this one for, for the me in the meantime. We're going to come back to this colour later. I'm going to sew in my ends as I go because it saves you doing it at the end. We go through the those two there. And this one here. There we go. And we just sew that in there. And give your centre one a bit of a tug just to tidy it up and then we're going to cut them ends off because we don't need them now like so and there we have our little square I mean our little circle which will soon be a square <laughs> okay so we're going to get my neck so we've done the centre piece here so we've done this bit here so we're now going to do this bit round here Okay, so I'm going to get my purple. I hope this isn't too dark for you to be able to see, but join into the top of any chain, doesn't matter. Any any chain at the top of your stitches. Then you're going to join with a slip stitch. Try not to split your wool, which I just did. We've 
got one there. And then we're going to do five chains. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Now these first five chain, the first three stitches are your first treble, and then the next two is your two chain space. We're going to go round and we're going to do a treble going over our tail again into the next stitch. Like so. And then we're going to do two chains. One, two. And this is the pattern we're going to do all the way along into every stitch around the circle. And you should end up with 12 trebles and 12 chain space, two chain spaces. Okay, so if you do this all the way around, and I will meet you back at the start of our circle. But don't cut off the yarn yet because we still haven't finished with this one, this this section yet. So I'm going to go off and finish doing my treble and two chain all the way around. And I'll meet you back at the beginning. Okay, have fun. Okay, so here we are, back at the beginning. The first five chains you did, you're going to count one, two, three, and you're going to do a slip stitch into the top of this chain, like so. And we're going to pull that through there and there, and there we have it. That's the, that first little bit there. Okay, and now we're going. We want to get to we want to get to this chain space here you can't really see very well yeah so we want to travel to this chain space here so if ever you want to travel to a next piece you just slip stitch to it so we're quite close but I don't want my stitch to start on top of this treble I want it to start in this chain so that's why we're going to travel to this chain space here. So we're just going to do one slip stitch. So now my stitch isn't going to start at the top of the treble, it's going to start here. Okay, so we're going to do one chain, which doesn't class as a stitch. And then we're going to do three double crochets. One, two three into that chain space there it's a bit, I don't know if it's quite tricky to see with this dark wall and then another three double crochets one two three and you're just going to do that all the way around into your little um, chain spaces so one two three one, two, and three. And you're just going to do that all the way around into each chain space until you get back to the beginning again. So I'm going to go off and do that. You go off and do that. And then we'll meet back again. Okay, see you soon. Welcome back. See, it looks tricky, but it's not really. So it's basically the same basic stitches. You're just putting them leaving different spaces and placing them differently so anyway we've i've done this this round here so that it gives me a good base to start my next pattern so we finished with this one and you can slip stitch into the top of the last double crochet like so and then we're going to finish that off. I sort of regretting using this dark purple because I don't know if it's coming across very well on the camera. So, but we'll persevere. Okay, so we're going to sew this end in here. And I don't have to sew the other ending because I worked around it. And that's what you should have so far. There we go.
Okay, so the next colour I'm going to use is my pink. So the next part we're going to be doing is this section round here. Now it's much, no we're not, we're going to be doing this little bit round here. This bit to, to do the base of this bit. So we're going to do this row now. So you join, you join, you've got these little three double crochets here. So you've got one, two and three. So you put your crochet hook in the last of them three. So that's where you start this round. And we're going to join our pink in with a slip stitch. Like so. And then we're going to double crochet. But you need to pay close attention because it's a double crochet round. But we're going to be, I'll show you. So we're going to be doing one double crochet in this stitch. And then another double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to be doing two in the same stitch. So we're going to do one double crochet there and then another one in the same stitch. So this is like increasing your stitches as you go round. So if you if you look at it, you're going to be doing two double crochets and then two double crochets in the same stitch. And that same stitch is the middle stitch of each of these chain spaces. That each of these three double crochets that you did, you're going to be doing two double crochets in the middle stitch. So you're going to do one and two, and then you're going to be doing two in the same stitch. So that's one and two. And in some patterns, they call this the an increasing round. Not all the time, they just probably just tell you to do two double crochets, two double crochets in the same stitch. But this is increasing our stitches as we go round. So gonna, I'll just show you one more time. So, so basically the pattern is one double crochet in one stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, and then two in the next stitch one and two like so so two single ones one and two and then two in the same stitch one and two so if you do that all the way around your circle for now, so two singles, two, two in the same stitch, and the two in the same stitch should be the middle crochet of each of your chain spaces. So if you get round to the other end and you've gone and you've gone wrong a little bit, I will do up to here, then I'll show you what you should end up with. Okay, so I'm gonna get round to there and then I'll meet you back. Okay, so I haven't quite gone to back to the to the start. So we started off with one double crochet in one stitch and one double crochet in the next stitch, then two double crochets in the next stitch. So all your two double crochets are going to go in the middle of them three double crochets you did in the previous round. So I've, I'm up to here where I've done two, one double crochet, one double crochet and two which are in the centre of this one. So now I've got to, because we only started with one double crochet in there, I'm now going to do two double crochets. So one in that one, and one in the next stitch, and then two in this one. Because we started with the in the first, in the last of the th set of three double crochets. So that's one and two and then I'm just going to join it with a slip stitch but don't cut the wool off, we're going to keep it there. 
Okay, and that's what you should have on that round. So now we've done that round, we're going to do this bit here. Now it looks complicated, but it, um, I assure you it really isn't. Okay, so this is how we're going to achieve this like little petal effect. Okie dokie. So this is where we are, we slip stitch into the first stitch. So we're going to do one chain and we're going to do a double crochet in that same space. So we're going to go back into the same space where we did the slip stitch. See, so we slip stitched into there and we're going to go back into that same space there and do a double crochet. And now we're going to do a treble. So we're going to go yarn round and we're going to go back into that same space. We're doing these two stitches in the same space. And then finish off your treble like so. And then you do one chain. And then you just do the opposite. So you're going to do a treble first into the next stitch, not the same stitch, into the next stitch. We do one treble. Then we're going to do one double crochet back into that same stitch there. Like so. Okay, and that makes your first little petal. So just by changing stitches, you can get um you can make the height of your work go zigzag, you can make it go up and then down and then up and then down. So just changing the say the the stitches and putting them in the same stitch gives you all these all these different shapes even though you're just using two basic stitches so in the next two chains we're just going to slip stitch so I can get to this chain so I'm going to just put my hook in and then do a slip stitch and I'm going to do that twice and then that gets me to travel to the stitch I I want to be in which is this one here so I'm just going to do this in in these two over these two stitches again. So I'm going to start with my double crochet first. Then I'm going to do my treble, which gives me my point of my little petal. And I'm going to do one chain, and then I'm going to do the opposite into the next stitch. So I'm going to treble first into that one. Then double crochet back into that same stitch. Like so. That gives me my next little my next little petal. And yes you guessed it, we're going to be doing that all the way around this circle. So we're going to slip stitch into the next two One and two. And then in over the next two stitches, we're going to do our petal again. So we're going to do a double crochet, then a treble back into the same stitch. And then one chain, and then the opposite of what we did in the next stitch. So I'm going to do a treble first and then a double crochet back into that same stitch because you're working two stitches in one stitch. And there we have it. So I hope I've showed you enough times how to do that. If you get stuck you can always remind, rewind me and slow the video down and um, go through it again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go away and I'm going to get all the way round to here again and then I'll show you the next stage. It's exciting isn't it? Okie dokie. See you soon. Okay so I've gone round. I haven't quite... So you're supposed to have 12 petals. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I'm just going to show you how to finish this last petal off in this last little bit here. So 
So I've double crocheted, trebled, done my one chain, double trebled, sorry, double crocheted, and now I've done one slip stitch. I'm now going to do another slip stitch. And then I'm going to do double crochet and a treble in that same stitch. And then one chain. And then I've got this stitch here. One treble. Whoops. One double crochet in the same stitch. And then I'm going to join with a slip stitch into this stitch here. This one here. I'll put my hook underneath it. You can see it there. I'm just going to slip stitch into that like so. Now it's going to be a bit wibbly wobbly because of the nature of when you change different stitches and you can see that this section's a bit thicker than this section so it does tend to to wobble about a bit but this is what you should have. So we're still carrying on with the pink. I mean you could change colours now if you'd like but we're going to carry on with the pink and we're going to slip stitch because I want to get I want to get to this one chain space here so I don't want to just take it over because it will go all it will crunch all up so I'm going to slip stitch my way to this one chain space I'm going to slip stitch into my double crochet slip stitch into my treble and then slip stitch into my one chain space because that's where I want to start this round. Like so. And then we're just going to do one chain and then we're going to double crochet into that one chain space. And then to get over to this one chain space here, we want to make a bridge over here so we can then, so what we're doing is so this is where this is where I've started so I've done a double crochet into there and we're going to do this bridge across here to join to that petal so when we do our next round we have somewhere to crochet and you find that with um, a lot when you have a, a big gap like this you tend to do a chain round first before you then do your next bit so that's what we're doing we're preparing this round for that next round so we've done our one chain and our one double crochet in there so we're now going to have to do five chains one two three whoops four and five So now I want to join into the top of this little petal here in that one chain space that we did. So I'm going to join it into there with a double crochet, like so. And I'm going to do that again. So I'm just going to do five chains and any pattern when you're doing a bridge, it'll tell you how many chains it wants you to do. But in this case, I'm going to do five because I found that that was the seemed to be the right number. And then you open up your little petal there. And you put your hook right in between there and you do your double crochet into that. Like so. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. Open up your little petal, put your hook in there, and then do your double crochet in the top of that little petal there. Like that, and you're going to do that, yes you guessed it, we're going to do that all the way round. 
until we meet up at the beginning again. And we're still carrying on with this colour, so don't cut your colour off at the end. And I'll meet you back there. Okay, have fun chaining. See you soon. Okay, so you've been chaining and double crocheting all the way around. Like so. And then we're just going to join it with a slip stitch to the top of the double crochet that you started in there. There we go. So we're still very much looking like a circle. So the next round it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit we're gonna make it look a little bit more like a square and I'm gonna introduce the half treble. So again, I don't want to start my round here. I want to start it from in there. So I'm just going to do a little slip stitch into this chain, into the five chain space, so that my next stitch will start here and not on the top there. So I'm going to do one chain, one double crochet, one half treble. So a half treble, we go round the hook once, go into and pull the loop up so we've got three so it's starting as a treble but instead of going through these two and then these two we're only going to we're going to go through all three loops at once so it only gives us half a stitch so that's why it's called the half treble it's a little bit taller than a double crochet but not quite as tall as a treble so that's a half treble then we're going to do two trebles one and that's one and two and then we're going to do two chain one two and then two more trebles back into the same space though because this way we're making our first corner so we just do the opposite to what we just did so we're going to do two trebles one half treble and then one double crochet and that has made your first corner there so we're going to do one double crochet into the top of the previous double crochet into there And we're going to do four double crochets into the next five chain space. So that's one, two, three, and four. Then I'm going to do a double crochet into the previous double crochet that we did in the previous round. That's one. Then we do four more in this chain space. So that's one, two, three, and four. Okay, I hope you're not finding this too difficult. I'm trying to explain everything as I go, so I hope I haven't, found, I haven't done a too tricky a square. So now we want to do this corner in this space again. So we're going to double crochet first into the top of this petal here. And then I'm going to do a double crochet. Then a half treble. And then two trebles. One, that's one treble two trebles and then two chains then we go back into the same chain space and do the opposite so we're going to do two treble first that's one two and then a half treble so we're not quite finishing off the treble going to finish it off with our three loops and when you first start doing a half treble 
I found it quite tricky to go through all three loops so it doesn't matter if you just go through the first two and then the next one it's still you still end up with the same stitch it just depends how comfortable you are going through all three loops and then a double crochet so that's what we've done down this side here so we started over here we've done double crochet a half treble two trebles two chain two trebles one half treble one double crochet and we double crocheted into the top of this stitch then we've done four double crochets in the five chain space one double crochet four more double crochets in this chain space another double crochet in the top of that then we did we made another corner so we did a double crochet a half treble two trebles two chains two trebles one half treble and one double crochet so you're going to do that all the way around and make your other two corners so you're going to make a corner here and here doing your doing your double crochets in between them two spaces and then i'll meet you back at the end again okay see you soon okay so i've gone round we're now starting to look more like a square now so we just got to do our last double crochet into there because we started in the chain space so we still owe that a double crochet like so and then we chain space into the first double crochet for the last round there we go So we're still carrying on with our pink. I think this is my last round of pink before I change to purple. Okay. So this is the last round I'm going to do with my pink. Um, this is quite a simple round. Basically, I want to set up a base to do my next round in. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to double crochet into every single stitch. So I'll show you around one side. So you do one chain and then you work back into the same space that you just joined your slip stitch in. And then in every single stitch you're going to do a double crochet. But in the corners here you're going to do three double crochets. So one, two, and three. Now be careful when you go around the corner because when I first started learning to crochet, I kept missing this stitch because as I crocheted into the corner, I covered it over with my last stitches and I kept couldn't understand why I kept losing count. So always pull back your stitches a bit and always work into the first double crochet, not this one always work into this one and then we're just going to double crochet all the way along this side in every single stitch just double crochet along So I know when you first may have looked at this square, if you're a beginner, and looked at it and thought, really Hannah, that is not a beginner square, what are you doing? But when you break it down, using the same basic stitches, just using them all in a different order, how it gives you a completely different look. So once you master these double crochets and trebles, the world is your oyster. So we're just going to go, I'm just going to take you up to the corner here. Going through every single stitch, doing a double crochet. And then you're going to do three in the corner. One, two, 
three, making sure you don't miss this first stitch when you go around your corner. Okay, so I'm going to carry on doing that and meet you back at the beginning again. And then we're going to change colour. Okay, have fun. Okay, so I've made it back to the end again and then we just join it again with a slip stitch to the first one that we started with like so and then we just cut that off and sew our little ending hmm. looks like I um went over my first one so well I can't even see where it is I'll just cut that little bit off there so that's the back and that's the front and I'm going to start with my purple now my lighter purple so on the square here we're going to be doing this row here this one here So I needed to find a corner, one of the corners, and determine which is the middle one of the three that you did in here. So that's number one, this is number three, so you want to put your hook in there to start this round with. And join in your next colour with a slip stitch, like so. Now we're going to do three chain, which counts as our first treble. And we're going to do all these in that same stitch that we did it. So we're going to treble into this same space. So it looks like we've got two trebles there. Two chain. And two more trebles in this same space because it makes our corner. That's one. And two. And then we're going to do one treble into the next stitch. So making sure you you are doing it in your next stitch here. That's one treble in there. So we're working these in all the three corner ones. So we haven't done it in the first one, but we've done our corner in the middle one and our other treble in the last one that we did in that little three corner space. And now we're starting along down the edge. So we're going to just do one chain and we're going to miss this chain and we're going to work into the next one. So if we don't do anything with this one, go into the next one and do your treble, one chain, we're going to miss the next stitch and work into the next stitch. one chain. Miss this stitch, work into the next stitch and you do this all the way along the side. Miss that one, go into this one. So I'll take you up to the corner, miss this one, go into this one. One chain, miss a, miss a stitch, into the next one, one chain, treble, miss a stitch into the next one, miss a stitch into the next one and when you get to your join here you sometimes end up with two little chains where you sewed it in so always try and look for the stitch that you did it so that was the that's what we joined in with, so this was the stitch. So we're missing a stitch and then we're going into that one. Like so. One chain. So that's where I did my little join. So you miss your join and then this stitch 
and then we're going to work into this one. Like so. One chain. Miss one chain. So when so what you should end up with is you, when you get to the end of your row is you should be able to have a miss chain on here and then you're going to start your next treble in the first of the three double crochets that you did in the previous round and then you know you're on track then so you miss this chain and you do your double cro your treble sorry into here and then in this one we're going to repeat what we did here this bit here so we're going to do all of this in the same stitch so we're going to treble once and twice all in the same stitch and then I'm going to do two chain for my corner and then I'm going to do the opposite I'm going to do the same sorry back into the same space so that's one and two so that's the middle double crochet of our corner then we're going to do another treble into the last of the three double crochets that we made in the corner so I'm going to do one treble in there and then I'm going to do one chain and then I'm just going to repeat the process all over again so I'm going to miss a stitch and go into the next stitch like so so if you can see it can't really see it all I'm trying to keep my camera close so you can see what I'm doing so we started in the middle of this corner in the middle double crochet we did one double crochet because we'd already done three chains so we done one treble sorry two chain and two more trebles all in the same corner space to give us our corner and then we did one extra treble where the three are so if you look we've, we've sort of basically worked into them three stitches then all the way along here we've just one chained and one trebled so we've one chained miss a stitch trebled one chain miss a stitch trebled and we did that all the way along here till we got up to the corner again so we made sure that these this one and these stitches and this um are made into the three double crochets that we did in the previous round then you know you're on track then and then you just do all of this all the way along this side as well and all the way around till we meet at the beginning and that's where I will meet up with you again so I'm going to carry on doing this part all the way around and I'll meet you back the next two the next two rows are dead easy so well Hopefully you'll find them dead easy. It's just a case of two rows of double crochet, so it should be dead easy. But I will still show you right to the end of my little square. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a full video, would it? So I'll carry on going to do this and I will meet you back at the beginning again. Okie dokie, have fun. Okay, so I've brought you back here at the end here just to show you what your trebles will look like if you miss the chain so if you've done your treble and you've got to do your one chain and your treble sometimes you sort of lose yourself a little bit and maybe forget to do that chain so I thought I'd show you what the two trebles look like if you forget to do your chain so this is a treble and a chain this is just a treble with a chain missed out in the middle so you can see what a difference it makes without doing that one chain so I just thought I'd show you that little tip. I'll just undo that so I can put my chain in. So that's one chain. And in there. And one chain. And then I've got to do the, that treble there, which is this one here. So you've got three here. You've got your two trebles. You've got your two trebles here. You've got to miss one chain and then go into that one. So you know you've done you know you've done it correct all the way round if it meets up like that. You think, yay! I haven't got to pull it out and try and find out where I made a mistake. Which I've done plenty of times. It's very frustrating. So we've got our three 
chains here so I want to do a slip stitch into the top of this chain here like so and that's the end of the purple for now so we're just gonna as usual I'm gonna sew that in now these next two rows are really easy you should be well practiced at doing double crochets so you hopefully you'll find these next two rows a doddle if not it's good practice so I'll get rid of that and I can't show you my whole square because I've got my camera a bit lower so that I can show you better how to crochet but that's what your square should start to look like pretty okay so now I'm going to go back to using my white here which I used in the center and I'm going to join it you can join it to any treble anywhere along here doesn't matter where I prefer to join in the corners because that's where I prefer my join to be but it, you can join anywhere along here it doesn't matter but I'm going to, I'm actually going to join the one after the corner so this one here so this is my corner I'm going to join it into this top of this first treble here and all you're going to do you're going to join it with a slip stitch and one chain and then do a double crochet in the same space and then you're just going to double crochet all the way along so you're going to do it into the top of these three like so and then you're going to go into don't forget to go into your chain space as well so you've got a double crochet into the chain space and then into the top of the next treble into the chain space into your treble and you do that all the way along until you get up to your corner so I'm going to try and speed along here so that you don't get bored watching me crochet along Obviously, if you have any questions or you're getting stuck or struggling, then you can always send me a message in the comments. We also have a Facebook page that's called Handmade by Hannah that you can leave me a comment or a message there also. And I also have an Instagram as well. Why not? Everyone else is doing it, so I thought I'd join in. Okay, so now we've we've double crocheted all the way along into our chain spaces and into our trebles. We've got back to the corner again, so we're going to do three double crochets in that corner space. One, two, three, and then careful not to cover up this stitch here. You're going to do three double crochets into each of them three trebles. And then you're just going to double crochet all the way around till you reach the next point. So I'm going to go away and do that and then show you the next stage. And then we would have finished our square. Welcome back. So you've been double crocheting while well, life depends on it. And now we've got back to the corner again and because I started in this first stitch here I've got to do my three double crochets in the corner so that's one two and three and then I'm going to join with a slip stitch and I'm going to cut that off there so this bit in I forgot to crochet over my tail so now I'm gonna to have to sew that in as well 
Oh, I don't know. I nag you lot to do it, look, and I don't even do it myself, look. So I'm going to have to sew this bit in. Like so. Okay, and then all we do again is we're just going to do the same round, but in a different colour. I chose to do it back in pur in my purple again. Then I'm just going to do exactly the same as I did in the last round, except we're not going in one chain space, we're just going to double crochet into every single stitch. So here's my one, two, three double crochets. So I'm going to go into that, join into that one there. I'm going to join in with a slip stitch. One chain. One double crochet, and then we're just going to do this exactly the same thing all the way around in every single stitch, and then in the corners, try and remember to crochet over my tail this time. <laughs> I'm just going to double crochet into every single stitch this time. I don't know if you can hear my cat in the background, she's I think she's crying to get out. There, so you're just going to double crochet all the way around again, doing your three double crochets into the centre of the one before. So I'll quickly crochet up to the corner, and here comes the sun again. Quickly crochet up to the corner. Oh, Hannah, why don't you say it a third time because they didn't hear you the first two times? <laughs> you know, what do you say when you're trying to fill in? I'm not, I don't English very well at the best of times, and trying to think of something to say off the cuff is even harder. Okay, we're nearly there. So we're up to the corner again here. That's your one, two, three double crochets. We're going to double crochet into the first of them three. And then we're going to do three double crochets into the corner. One, two, three. And then just carry on. Just keep going. As Dory said, just keep crocheting, just keep crocheting. <laughs> but she said swimming, obviously. Oh dear. I've got myself stuck. There we are. It's because my hands are getting hot. And I'm just going to keep crocheting. You just keep doing that all the way around. So you do it all the way along here. Three double crochets in the centre one of that corner. And carry on doing it all the way around. Then you join with a slip stitch and sewing your ends and that's all there is to it i'm going to finish that off later show you this square again or well, some part of it because i brought my camera down a bit okay well i know it looked quite difficult but when you break it down into rounds and stitches um it's not as difficult as it looks well i hope you found that interesting and i hope you learned something again today um, if you have any comments or anything else, um, there'll be a third square next Sunday. So if you want to join me there, not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'll just sort of make it up as I go along during the week. And um, join me next week for the next instalment. I don't really know how I'm going to join them up because I'm using stash wool and I'm trying to make them the same colours as I go along with the same square that I've taught you so I'm trying to make even amounts of squares so if I make two of these I might make four of them so I'm not really quite sure how I'm going to join them together at the end so I'm going to make all my squares and then when I've got enough I'll start joining them together now you can join these in any way you want to any pattern you want to if you want to make them random I'm a bit of an organised OCD I have a bit of OCD so I like things to be 
matching and organized and symmetrical so that's probably how I'll sew mine together but you can sew yours together however you want so when it comes to joining the squares together I will do a separate video on that but until then I'm just going to keep going going on doing a different square and teaching you a different stitch each week okay so if you would wouldn't mind um hitting that like button and maybe subscribe so that you can follow on with this mystery tour and i will see you next time thank you so much for watching i want to thank all my subscribers that have subscribed to me um i'll try and keep it interesting i'm still um learning how to do this filming and editing lark it's not easy <laughs> Um, so I, I do everything with this channel. I, I film, I edit, I make my own content. I do it all by myself. I don't have any help. So if it's a bit amateurish, I apologise for that. But the main thing that I want to get across is to teach you all to crochet. And maybe some other crafts in the future. So if that's what interests you, then hit the subscribe. And we can learn together. Okay. I will see you next Sunday. Bye.